um, every fucking day, Trump um keeps digging himself a deep um keep he's digging himself a deeper hole, and new court filings that came out from January sixth of last year demonstrate that Trump thought he'd get away with his crimes, which he's not going to. Now, there's one simple reason Donald Trump orchestrated his coup, um, the one that led to a violent insurrection clan attack on January sixth of twenty twenty one. Basically, the reason why he instigated that violent clan attack was because he didn't think he's that he was ever going to face consequences for doing so. Now, a document filed on the January 6th committee with the California Federal Court on Wednesday confirmed this. Um, the document is filed on a narrow question about obtaining documents from likely Trump, conspir- Trump co-conspirator John Eastman, who was claiming the attorney um, the attorney-client privilege, but that privilege doesn't give the lawyers the right to conspire to commit crimes with their clients, which is exactly what the committee alleges Eastman and Trump did. The select committee also has a good faith basis for concluding that the squatter and members of his campaign engaged in a criminal conspiracy to defraud the United States. Now, late Thursday night, the New York Times published an, an, an analysis of the evidence for this claim presented in the filing, and unsurprisingly, it's, it's damning and extensive. Now, through multiple through multiple eyewitnesses and documents, the Times shows that Trump was repeatedly informed that his election loss was real and that he was going to lose. It also shows that Trump's claims of fraud were based on nothing. When advisors shot down his conspiracy theories, he just kept making up new ones to go along. And this is not the behavior of someone who has sincere reason to believe that an election was fraudulent. This is a person perpetuating a lie and trying to falsify evidence to support that lie. Um, the most chilling detail in the New York Times breakdown is what former Justice Department official Richard Donahue described as Trump's rationale for attempting to overthrow democracy. The squatter said something to the effect of, what do I have to lose? If I do this, what do I fucking have to lose? Don- Donahue told the committee. Um, um, Don- Donahue further says he pleaded with Trump not to hurt the country, but of course that plea fell on deaf ears. Trump is a sociopathic fucking narcissist. Of course he wasn't going to be affected by appeals to the greater good or feel compelled by his own oath to uphold democracy. Trump cares about one thing, and one thing only, always has and always will, his fucking self. At this at this late date, anyone who denies this is a liar or delusional to the point of fucking madness. And what matters here, however, is the deep assurance that Trump had that he would never face a real consequence for his actions, neither politically, legally, and certainly not criminally, for perpetuating the massive crime against democracy. And why and why the fuck wouldn't he not think that? Um, Trump has been has been an, has been an entire has been an, has been a criminal his entire life. He's never faced anything like a serious consequence, as the New York Times has repeatedly um shown in its reporting. Trump has been a massive tax has been a massive has been committing massive tax fraud his entire career. He doesn't even bother to try to deny it or hide it, but he brags about how defrauding the government and other taxpayers is a sport for him, and it makes him smart. Um, no, it makes you a criminal. He has been accused of sexual harassment, assault, and rape by over 20 different women, but we don't we don't just have testimony of theirs to rely on to believe them because Trump himself bragged about it on the infamous grab him by the pussy tape. Even when one of his illegal schemes comes back to bite him in the ass, as, as, it, show hap- as it so happens when he was forced to settle out of court with the fraud customers of his Trump University grift, the consequences are insufficient to actually be felt. Hell, he's even managed to get the Republican National Committee to pay his legal bills so that he can keep wasting his money on his on his useless golf trips. Um, it's not now. It's not just that Trump commits crimes because he knows he'll get away with them. I hell, I would even argue that getting away with it is a big part of what motivates him to commit these crimes. It's the thrill of getting over one on everyone else. It's the feeling of power that it gives him, realizing that he can get away with stuff anyone else would go to jail for. He doesn't even try to fucking hide it, even with all the bragging about te- fucking tax fraud and the fucking sexual assaults. And he would not stop committing these fucking crimes, including reattempting a coup, unless someone actually stops him from fucking doing it. Now, as the New York Times analysis shows, one of the biggest obstacles in prosecuting Trump will be to question his state of mind at the time. Now, obviously, Trump knows full goddamn well that he lost the election and that his claims are just the latest in a lifetime of his lies. But he also has the instinct. He also has the instinct of self-preservation. That flows from a life from a lifelong habit of committing these crimes. It appears he was careful never to tip his hand to the fact that he knew he was lying to anyone who would be a criminal witness against him. And now instead, he would just keep um, reiterating his fucking claim that the election was a fucking fraud and expect the person he was badgering to pick up on his undying wish, 
which was for uh, which was for someone to falsify the evidence to support his lies. Now it's the same strategy that Trump used in trying to extort the Ukrainian president Vladimir Zelensky into faking evidence to smear Joe Biden in the 2020 campaign. He never directly asked Zelensky to counterfeit evidence, but instead, I would like you to find out what happened with this whole situation. Similarly, when Trump pressured Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger to, falsi to falsify votes, he never directly demanded it. Instead, he asked Raffensperger to find the votes. The meaning of the ask is clear. Trump always carefully uses language that lawyers can later um, use to quibble over his intent. As the, as a law, as, um, the law professor Alan Rose, Rosenstein said, told the New York Times, He's a finder of fact. He's a finder of fact, and it could and it will conclude that Trump is so uniquely um, narcissistic and self-absorbed that he actually thinks that the election was stolen, which was no doubt the defense that Trump had in mind when he carefully made sure to talk in that sideways in that sideways way that he loves to use when engaging in one of his many conspiracies and frauds. But we can know from context that, from context that line and not delusion is the explanation of Trump's claims of a stolen election. Trump was claiming that the evidence was that the election was rigged for months before the election even happened. And that is not the behavior of a man who saw evidence of fraud and is raising alarm. That's the behavior of a man who plans to commit fraud and is laying the groundwork for his lies. Now, in February, Trump let the, let the mask slip a little by releasing a statement asserting that his former vice squatter, Mike Pence, did have the right to change the outcome. Um, no, he did not. And, which is, of course, another lie. But in lying about the law, he let slip the truth about his state of mind when he revealed that he intended to change the outcome. His lawyers likely panicked because Trump released another statement insisting what he meant was that Pence could send back the votes for certification of approval. Um, no, he could not. But no one of good faith believes this. He just got over his skis and his dashed off statement and the truth about his intent slipped out, which thankfully the January 6th committee is seizing upon. Still, Trump is a slippery m motherfucker who has a lifetime of experience getting away with crimes. Um, that is likely fueling what, increas what increasingly looks like a troubling reluctance on the part of Attorney General Merrick Garland to actually prosecute um, Trump. If so, that's a fucking massive mistake. It's, abundant, it's abundantly clear that nothing will stop Trump but a threat of consequences and one that will have teeth. He is not constrained by morality cause, as he has none. He is not constrained by the Republican Party, which has made it clear that they will assist Trump in his anti-democratic efforts and cover up for any crimes he commits along the way. And it may be hard to fucking prosecute him, but it is literally the ho only hope that we have of stopping him from attempting another coup. And will and with the full support of the GOP behind him, next time he ha he tries to overthrow democracy, he more than likely will fucking secede. And what do we fucking have to lose? Is basically Trump's motto: if he never gets an answer, he will never fucking stop. So if you like the video, you can give the video a like and subscribe to my channel RBW King. And also, you can hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when a new video comes out. And if you want to support my work even further, you can donate to my Patreon, my Patreon page, my Patreon link, which you have on um, which I have on um on the about section of my YouTube channel, and you can donate as just a little as a few bucks a month to help further support the work. Yep.